Welcome back to Crypto Base Scanner, the base scanning app that helps you to save time analyzing the cryptocurrency markets. Now that we've covered the basics of getting set up, let's dive into the more advanced features so you can really make the most out of the app. Our first port of call will be the market section of the base scanner tab. Here, you can drill down into your exchanges to find markets to trade. At this point, you could go through each market one by one, but that might be really slow and time consuming. So, Crypto Base Scanner has a filter option. Select your preferred exchange and hit the Filters button. You'll see the following options. Filter out the markets using the currencies you selected when setting up the app. You can set the volume in US dollars or Bitcoin. Filter out markets by their percentage change over the past 24 hours. Show markets with base success rates at a set percentage or higher. Show markets where the price has taken an average of a set number of days to return to base. And lastly, you can sort the results by any of these classifications. The filter is also on the bases section but works independently of the markets section, so you can set different requirements. Now, this market looks like a good shot. Remember, everything we're about to do is also possible under the Bases section. The first thing we need to do is select the preferred algorithm. You should have selected Day Trading when setting up. This tells the algorithm to work from the candle charts set to 1 hour. If you're new to trading, this is probably your best option, as you'll have plenty of bases to play quickly and build up your confidence. The other options we'll look at today are Conservative and Position. The big difference between these two is the length of the candles the algorithm works with. Conservative is 2 hours and position uses 4 hours. This means you'll see fewer bases that last longer. These trades can mean greater profits as there's more time to react or nail biting if you're impatient. So we like this market and this base. To see more detail about the base, we click on these arrows here. You'll also see some of the details up here change to reflect the selected base. Let's say we decide to play this base once it reaches the median drop for this market. The first thing to do is save the base. You'll be able to find it here later, and if you're a member of any of these trading sites, this is a handy link to get there faster. Now you've selected your market, saved your base, and placed a trade. If you're using the desktop version of Crypto Base Scanner and are subscribed to any of our support exchanges, you can head over to Settings, hit Exchange API Settings, choose your exchange, and link your trade history with Crypto Base Scanner. Now you can see your trades appear on the charts, indicated by a red arrow for a sell and green arrow for a buy. It's an auto update, but you can refresh at any time by hitting Sync Orders. The final advanced feature we'll show you today is the Quick Scan tab. This is also an alert service, but different from base trading, though it's also fast paced. Quick Scan searches for fast up or down movements in a market. This is useful for a type of trading called pullback trading. That's definitely a topic for another day, though. What you'll really like about Quick Scan is the Fat Fingers option. A fat finger is caused by a large trader selling a lot, sometimes all, of their coin at once, causing a fast, temporary fall in the price of the coin because there's more supply than demand. If you're quick enough to buy at the low price, then there's usually a profit to be made because the market will quickly revert to the normal price of the coin. Now you're on the way to having some fun in the cryptocurrency markets. That's all from Crypto Base Scanner for the moment, but keep on checking in. When we add more features, we'll post more videos to this series to help you get to grips with the tool as quickly as possible. Crypto Base Scanner, your tool for faster and more effective base trading.